This is William Hogarth, Marriage a la Mode, by yours truly, Justin Smith. William Hogarth is one of the first greatest English-born artist to attract admiration abroad. He is the best known for his moral engravings and paintings. He uses paintings to make political and social statements. Background information about Hogarth's six paintings. Marriage a la mode means the modern marriage. It is a series of six paintings that tells a story about a aristocratic family who has good title but very little money. Marriage a la mode was the first of Hogarth's series of engravings. They were models of the engravings that were going to be made. The engravings were reversed the will reverse the composition. In scene one, the marriage settlement, you can see that Earl, the one that is sitting far to the right, with his foot propped up, has gout, and he also has little money, but he, as you can see out the window, he's getting a house built. son is looking in the mirror, not paying any attention to his soon-to-be wife. He has his back turned to his wife, who is talking to some guy who seems to be a counselor. Maybe a marriage counselor. Who seems to be a quite smooth talker. The Tia T. First thing you notice in this room is the room. The house looked a complete disaster. Assumptions can be made that obviously someone had a good time last night and party. The husband comes home from a long night of drinking and seems to be very exhausted. The dog is sniffing out a female's bonnet, which probably means that he's probably been out cheating with on his wife with some other woman and being a complete womanizer. The wife has her flirty eyes on, the mirror in her hand. By the looks of it, you can tell that she really had a good time with some strange lover that she had. In this picture, you can see the accountant, their accountant, with bills in his hands, with his hand thrown up in the air like he's just had a complete enough of these two. The chair slipped over and the violin is on the floor. Everybody knows that music is a sign of love making. Scene three, the inspection. One of the things that I noticed in this picture is the skeletons. There's skeletons in the back corner behind the husband, and there's one over here by the doctor. The doctor is located on the far right, far left side, I'm sorry. The husband seems to be trying to flirt with the doctor's assistant. The wife looks like she's putting on some type of ointment that he, because he gave her some kind of illness. And so, yeah. In this picture, you can tell that the wife is getting all pampered up. She's getting her hair done, makeup done, and everyone is just having a good time in her bedroom. The bedroom should be only between the wife and husband, and perhaps a child. In 
see Silvertongue is in the room also. He's the one that's sitting down with the book in his hand. Everyone looks so comfortable, as though they've been there many of times before. The music is playing and everyone is drinking tea. If you really look close up, up under her arms is a teething toy for a baby. Her baby is nowhere to be found. You can easily say that she's probably a bad parent and she probably has neglected her child numerous of times. Five. Here you have the wife and Silvertongue because the husband had walked in on them to they probably was being intimate with one another because they came from the masquerade ball and the room also looks really trashy and messed up. Silvertongue is climbing out the window after he stabbed the husband and they obviously went to the masquerade ball because you can tell that the mask on the floor and the room is just a hot total mess. The wife is begging for her husband's forgiveness before he completely dies out. Silvertongue has already stabbed him, so he dies eventually. Silvertongue is also beheaded for the murder of the husband. Scene 6, Lady's Death. Here you have the wife dying because she just read the paper that her lover, Silvertongue, has been beheaded because of the murder of her husband. The nurse brings out the neglected child to give her a kiss and a hug. Here you have the merchant. He's getting the ring off of her finger, the gold ring off her finger which is a sign of greediness and the lady finally dies along with her husband and her lover thanks for watching